Welcome everyone, welcome or oh, welcome back to Cooking with Frenchy. I'm David and I'm your chef. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of the most amazing desserts, something that's very, very popular all over the world. Every time you think France, French dessert, Paris, everybody think about la crème brûlée. Such a beautiful dessert made of egg yolks, cream, vanilla, and this caramelized little crust on top. So just to let you know, the creme brulee was invented by actually the Spanish uh, with the creme catalan. But the king of France in the 17th century, living in this different castle and spending the time in the Pyrenees, trying the creme catalan, thought the creme wasn't refined enough. Therefore, they called the chef François Maslow at the time and asked him to develop a recipe a little bit better, which became the crème. But the crème wasn't as good as it was according to the king because it was cold. The king wasn't happy, so the chef just brought a little metal iron, heated it up, put it on top of the crème and burned the top to caramelize it which now become our favorite dessert, the crème brûlée. So there you go for the literary story. So before we start, as usual, make sure you subscribe, you change your notification bell setting. Under this description, I mean in the description under the video, you can always find the link to all my beautiful recipes, and especially this one. So let's get started and let's get baking. So for the crème brûlée, especially my creme brulee is a little bit different than many other recipes you are going to find. I developed it over the years to make sure that it's rich and velvety and it doesn't set like just a custard, it's still a little bit soft as you eat it, so you will see. Two main things I do that are different. First of all, I use only cream and second is I cook in the oven but over bamari. So I will show you all of this very, very soon. The first thing I'm going to do is to actually put my cream into a nice saucepan, split by vanilla and let it simmer for about a minute and let it infuse for about 10 minutes. So let's get started with that. I'm using a double cream here, nice and heavy. Just put it in the pan. And here I'm using a beautiful vanilla pod. This one is a little bit dry, but it's not a problem for this recipe as it's difficult to find fresh vanilla at the moment. Uh, what I'm going to do is to scrape the vanilla to get all the pod and seeds out. That's what makes a beautiful creme brulee. And that intense flavor of vanilla, the real flavor of vanilla, not just the essence. If you know me by now, you will know that I really love this vanilla. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you know how long it takes to grow a vanilla pod? I want to give you a few seconds. Think about it. How long? Nine months. Nine months for just one pod. Like a little baby. Here, my cream and my vanilla, and I'm going to put that onto the stove. So let's bring that to a boil and let it simmer and let it infuse for at least 10 minutes. Meanwhile, all I have to do is to clarify my eggs. We mean separating the egg white from the egg yolk. So for this recipe, I'm using three eggs. I'm 
My egg yolk, sugar, take a whisk. And mix it until it becomes paler. So my milk is well infused with the flavor of the vanilla, still a little bit warm, that's perfect. Oh, look at this. So I'm going to mix this to my egg and sugar. Making sure I'm scraping all the vanilla from the pan, no wastage. to strain, make it easy for myself, my cream into the jug. Just gonna remove that seed, but look at all the seed here. Don't wanna waste that either. And we put it in the jug. Now take a baking tray, your little ramekins. And fill up your ramekins. I might do just four here. Maybe five. Mm. Just five. And look at all those seeds. So make sure you give it a little bit of a shake. A little bit more. Top it up. Because all the goodies are at the bottom of that jug. So depending on the size of the ramekin, this recipe is going to do five or six. Obviously five today. And now I'm just going to fill the tray with water. But first of all, I'm going to heat up my oven at 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. Okay, so as you can see, I'm putting the uh, full tray on top of the stove, switch on the stove. And here, what we want is the water to get to a little bit of the simmering point. It's not really going to simmer, just a little bit warmer, a little few bubbles here and there to heat up, heat up the ramekin as well. And that will shorten my cooking experience by about 15 or 20 minutes but what it's going to do is to slowly cook the custard and let it remain creamy which is really what makes my creme brulee so special as you can see my creme and little ramekin are basically little shivering under the heat a little bit of steam is coming up from the tray so it's time for me to put this in the oven so switch up the heat don't burn yourself
There you go. This is my creme brulee. They just come out of the oven. It's been 25 minutes. They have a nice little golden color on top, which I love. And we are going to see if they cooked or not. They should wobble a little bit to tell me they're perfectly cooked. If they are runny, that means they need to cook a little bit longer. If they don't wobble at all, that means they cook for too long and they crack on top. But they're not crack on top, so let's remove them of the bamari. And check it out. Be careful to not burn yourself. It's quite warm. So as I mentioned, the wobble, let's check it. Oh, little wobble here. Not breaking, not running. Little wobble here. Looks beautiful. Here too. Like a little bit like a jelly consistency. This is perfect. Most recipe will tell you to let them set in the fridge for about two or four hours before you can caramelize them. However, I like mine to just get more infusion through it with the vanilla and the custard then I leave them for about 12 hours in the fridge before I caramelize them. So I'll see you tomorrow for this creme brulee. Here we are a few hours later with our creme brulee just perfectly baked and perfectly cooled down. Uh, it feels a little harder, no more wiggling. So what I'm going to do now is to add a little bit of brown sugar, light brown sugar. We call it cassonade in France. So just a little bit on top. Shake it. Shake it all over. Remove the excess to have just a nice little film of sugar. Now, using a blowtorch, this smaller blowtorch than this, nice little blue flame. We're just gonna gently caramelize. Give a nice color to the creme caramel. A little bit of a burn one. Just like this. The creme caramel should have that nice caramelization on top. Always wait one or two minutes to cool down. Don't know if you can hear the sun. And here, the crack, look at that crystal. Oh, so this is what I was saying. Nice little crack. And look at that creamy texture inside. All the black dot is just Mm. Mm. Everybody, I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. I'm really sharing a traditional recipe for my country to your kitchen all over the world. Share it if you want. It's one of my best kept secrets. I make it for dinner party. I use it for catering. I've been using it for 30 years and I always was told this is the best creme caramel sorry creme brulee ever so like me enjoy trust heaven it's really as good as an orgasm i'm telling you